for Hook Me. If Rastafari doesn't become one of the biggest pop singer R and B uh, artists in this country slash the world, I'll be fucking surprised, man. It just Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shit, bro. No one can ever say you're not yourself. What are you talking about, bro? And you're right down there. We're Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander Sandas. and we review music or do some shit like that. Um, I don't really know. What's your name? I'm too. Alright. We in here reacting to some new Australian music once again, giving you guys a snippet of the Australian scene. Hunters. We hope you support them. All right, should I just hit play? Hell yeah, man. This is Eletherios. Featuring we got our Pania, Mammoth. Rastafari. Rastafari. Cactus Farm. Australian. Just listen to it. You guys probably don't know who these artists are. Just give it a listen, as we will. Um... These guys are talented, for real. Like, mm -hmm. it's not just, these are friends of ours, we're biased, but they got talent. If you fuck with them, show them some love. Absolutely. they deserve it. Tell, tell them Jungle Beats sent you. Pretty good single, man. I reckon you should do voice over this. I really like Oh, the rest of us! Oh. Next Frank Ocean, man. Oh. I forgot what he sounded like, bro. He's like 17, bro. It's so good. He's 17. Holy fuck. Oh. Fuck man, it's just some people just fucking born with some shit like this. She sounds like No Name. A little bit. Is that right? You listen to more No Name, or am I kind of off? Transitions, but yeah, like he's got it. He's a little bit. 
Can I just, I just need to say, man, for hook me, if Rastafari doesn't become one of the biggest pop, singer, R&B uh, artists in this country, slash the world, I'll be fucking surprised, man. It just, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, not to discredit Pania, uh, Pania, sorry, uh, Mammoth, uh, PPRL, and all of them, Elephiris, not to discredit them, but my goodness, my fucking goodness. His voice oh, is goodness. off the chain. There's not many moments. You know when you listen to The Weeknd the first time? It only happens once when you listen to an artist the first time. And you just hear it. You're just like, this is something special. Bro, right take that compliment with the utmost um, uh, whatever. Stroke yourself to sleep by it. I would. What we're saying is, man, you're still young as fuck. You're still training your voice into more and more. And you're going to get to a stage where where you get a chance to take the world by the hand and grasp that shit, motherfucking take more than the world. Go fucking ham, bro. You just gotta be consistent, man. Like, pl <sighs> make some social media. Like, people wanna hear you. You don't have to put your face out there. Uh, like, I wanna hear the music. Give me, just give it to us, man. Give it to us. Man, really beautiful, really vibey. Uh, well, the first track maybe was a bit more, a bit more poppy, a bit more like cashy. Upbeat. Whereas the last two tracks were like more vibey. Yeah. And let's I, talk about those last these last two tracks because we mm, kind of just I definitely think Rastafari's dick. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't. I want to suck the other dicks too. I'm pretty sure. Like I, I think the first track was the best track. I thought it was super catchy, really well done. But the other two tracks are still really beautiful as well, and especially because because Rastafari rapped as well, but Pania also rapped as well. I'll play it in the background. Yeah, Pania. She reminded me of some artists that we've reviewed before, man. I know you don't think it's no name, but no name, Raven Lene, like, I don't... I'm, I get slight scissor vibes. Scissor. Like a combo. I mean, she doesn't have scissor syndrome, but you can hear a bit of scissor there. <laughs> and, and it makes me think, like, do you think she can stand in her own lane with this this voice? I mean, we've heard, I feel like we've heard I need so to hear more. I need to hear more to know if that's that's something. Uh, at the moment, I can't tell if she's going to be in her own lane or not. Okay. But what I can know is that she can sing. Absolutely. She sounds beautiful over this type of production. Yeah. And, and the production by E on this is, is is done. I think he's fitted the artist very well. He killed this shit, man. And what about Mammoth here finishing with? Mammoth's finished strongly, man. Really beautiful wordplay too. You know, I feel passion, mm. energy. You can hear the passion there, man. Yeah. And I feel like there is weight in every line you're saying. Mm. I can't connect to it like that. I need to read the lyrics or something or hear it again. But I feel emotion there, mm. and that's infectious. And this, this effect, you see how the voice has a bit yeah. of overlapping now? Yeah, this. He's done this with the He's done this with Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a signature thing, man. 
Uh, Cactus Farm dope three tracks milled into one. I don't know if it's one track, three tracks, but either way, it's dopey. And your transitions between each tracky were done very well, and that's a hard, challenging thing to do sometimes. I think you did a good job there. I like all these artists. I will listen to them all again. Mm -hmm. And I think 100%, Australia's you... music scene is strong. Yeah, exactly. And I really hope these that, guys. Yeah, I really hope more Australians start to realize the talent that you have because I feel like at the moment, I, mean, I was actually on Reddit the other day and I found a post from a guy that posted like six rappers and like four or five tracks they'd done. He's like, oh man, you got to get this new Australian way, rah, rah, rah. And I thought, fuck, I'll check it out. And they're all just like, Still that Bogan Australian sound, but very, but very grime influenced as well. Okay. They weren't bad. They were actually all pretty good lyricists, but it's just like the sound they had, I thought, wasn't what Australia should be going for. I think there is a there is an underground group coming through that have this type of uniqueness, mm. and that should be celebrated and put on. Agreed, man. 100% agree. Really fuck with this. Really dope. I'm excited for you to keep putting out music here. Let me get that a love. We're on a beautiful, we're on a beautiful journey, man. As you and love, we're enjoying man. it. It's the 51st love. Man, I'll give him the I'll give him the fucking fifty second nut love. Fifty second man. I'll I bust fifty two times. All I need is shit, bro. What's the most you've ever nutted in a day? I think mine's like five or six. You talk of masturbation or sex or both? It could be both, bro. Shit, man. I think I definitely nutted more with sex than masturbation. Masturbation probably like four. I was I was pretty like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> as a kid, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know. No, I don't know. What are you talking about? I'm good. As a kid, you were... Uh... Man, just as a kid, man. you just a teenager. <laughs> you got hormones and shit, man. <laughs> what are you saying? Is you popped off six a day? I'm just saying, man. I took advantage of my high testosterone and growth hormone. <laughs> and, um, did you ever have days where you had to see how many you could get off? I probably did. I had a couple of those where I challenged myself. Like, fuck it, man. Let's push the physical boundaries. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, I don't need to do that again. <laughs> You just get to it a point. It takes it out of you, bro. Yeah, it's the like, point where you come and you're just like, this fucking hurts. <laughs> Shit, make sure you leave a comment if you've done that before. And um, and what your record is. and we'll... Hey, leave your, leave your record number, man. Yeah, my prime's gone. Be real, be honest, though. Your like, prime's gone? Yeah, like I'm still, I feel, I'm still, I feel good. Yeah, but, but like you But like, I can't, yeah. I can't go like I used to. Yeah, like, right. I can't fucking nut, 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 nut. Now I just nut, nut, nut. And that's it. <laughs> it's going to get to a stage where I just nut. But for now, I'm in the nut, nut, nut stage. I so mean, enjoy the nut, 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 nut stages while you can. Because yeah. these stages are good.